Man, FMG Capo, man, Capo Vision TV. Before I get this video started, y'all go and subscribe to the channel. Press that like button, comment on what's going on, man. Topic, man. Fam Goon Sway, man. Breaks down the whole Moochie Grape situation with Stan G. Stan G had a one on one FaceTime with Sway Fam Goon. And he really talked about what happened in um, D.C. So everybody, you know, a lot of people didn't know. We thinking that it happened in, you know, Atlanta or something like that. But it didn't. It happened in D.C. If I'm not mistaken, they was on the um, gigantic money tour. They was down there in D.C. Um, now, when Sway was talking about it, it sounded like he could have possibly had something to do with it or he could have not had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, they was down there slipping. Like, man, you boys ain't heard. Like, that's what D.C. known for. D.C. known for robberies. Popping. Popping ninjas. You feel me? Like, they known for that. They tried... They tried a uh, camera off for his Lambo at Howard Homecoming. Camera booked him back in the days and got popped. Then dropped that killer season. Know what I'm saying? But they known for pulling stunts. They known for robberies. They ain't nothing about D.C. South. You know, Sway said they was like they was on the strip or something. He seen a little female. Now, that's where it kind of get sketchy with me. And mind you, you know what I'm saying? Whoever was involved in the situation, he know who they is. You know, he familiar with them, them his boys. And he said Big Moochie try to get him to pick a side. He like, nah, but he can't control the goons. So you really don't know because Sway was like, shoot, I ain't scared of nobody. Like if I had something to do with it, I would have told him I had something to do with it. He like, but I really ain't had nothing to do with it. And you know, I always go back, you know, I rock with Big Moochie, but I always go back to Big Moochie moving sloppy. Everybody told me I was crazy, but Moochie move like a hood ninja. That's what he move like, because that's what he is, he a hood ninja, but he got to understand it. He's more important. And you know, a lot of these dudes, you know, they so hood, they get their bag and, you know, get stuff going on and they forget, you know what I'm saying, that they important like people would you know what I'm saying, die to be in a situation. You know what I'm saying, want the things they have or jealous of the things they have. So he said something about like he hopped out the sprinter or something trying to holler at a female. Then he was trying to get a room or something and you know what I'm saying, it do sound like a bunch of shenanigans on his side. But basically, like, Moochie's slipping. He said Moochie out 5 o'clock in the morning with all his jewelry on. He said he out 5 o'clock. What is you doing out 5 o'clock in the morning anywhere with all your jewelry on? Why do you got all your jewelry on? You know, a lot of people, you know, thought he st thought they stole the jewelry. Uh, Sway said, you know what I'm saying? Moochie took it off. I guess they drew down on him. They had the ups on him. Said Moochie took it off. Gave it to him. He said, uh, one of Moochie homeboys ended up getting popped in the situation. And you know, that's what my little, one of my supporters told me. He said somebody got popped. But I guess it was one of Moochie homeboys. He might try to buck after or something happened after that. Like, who really knows? But, you know, he said, you know, Moochie took it off. I guess the boys drew down on him, probably with big stuff. They in D.C. He ain't in his city. They probably drew down with some big stuff, and you had to come on up off of it. Know what I'm saying? He said Moochie trying to throw a whole bunch of stuff off, throw it on him, and it's really just at the end of the day he can't control what them young ninjas going to do. And that's true. The young, these young ninjas going to do whatever they feel like doing. I ain't listening to nobody. If they out here hungry, it's five in the morning. They out here hungry. 
you got a hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on. Who you think they finna eat off of, especially if they don't know you? You in DC? Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stan G always getting an exclusive interview. Shout out to Stan G. But you know, that's the update on the Mucci situation. And basically, you know, uh, Sway was trying to say, like, he could have got his jewelry back. He basically saying, like, you know what I'm saying? People be thinking a lot, but really a lot of these rap cats be broke. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't know about Mucci Pockets, but I do believe a lot of rappers really don't have it like they be shown or or like people think that they got. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand they got expensive lifestyle, expensive habits, expensive drug habits. And I knew, uh, I knew, uh, you know, rappers wasn't even having a lot of change. Well, my boy Critter, Critter was like, he got a hundred K or something like that. Or a couple hundred thousand. I'm like, dang, you know, we thought you had that, but obviously a lot of these rappers just be looking like they got it. But basically he said Big Moochie was slipping down at DC five o'clock in the morning, all his jewelry on, young boys got on him. He couldn't do nothing. He had to give it up. You know what I'm saying? It just come with the game. When you slipping, you slipping. He said, Rollo, you know what I'm saying, chose the paper outside. You know what I'm saying? Sway said he still got love for Rollo. But he said, Rollo, you know, chose paper right over him. Because I guess, obviously, Rollo probably think he got something to do with it, too. You know what I'm saying? Since them, his homeboys. And, you know, Sway on there, he wasn't too convincing. But, you know, at the end of the day, a cup part of the game, you know what I'm saying? The game shice is dirty. Everybody ain't loyal. Everybody ain't solid. Can't be around all these dudes thinking they solid. A lot of these dudes hungry. I'm saying, and you know when the boys hungry, you know they got to eat. They seen a sweet little lick late night. Moochie thinking everything good here around this, you know what I'm saying, these boys, but, you know, the wolves turn on them. That's just what happened to come with the game. Take that as an ill. That's a learning lesson. You were slipping. You know I'm saying it is what it is, man. Uh, they also asked about um, what's up with the jury. Where the jury at? He said the jury on tour. They've been passing the jury around. The jury on tour. Um, Stan G kind of said was talking about is that the same chain? Um, Rollo had on, was that one of Moochie's? And, you know, Sway kind of, I don't know, kind of turned his head away from the camera, was saying, nah, that ain't his chain. Now, mind you, I don't believe that's Big Moochie chain Rollo been wearing. I would hope not, you know what I'm saying? But y'all don't know the game dirty, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Press that like button, comment on what's going on, man. 7G.